Hi everyone, I'm Tiff Martindale, the undergraduate coordinator for about 10 years now in the Department of Kinesiology. I've already had the chance to communicate with a lot of you and I look forward to getting to know you over this next year. Um, if I had to be a professional wrestler, which, uh, fun fact, I actually used to, uh, no, I didn't used to be one, uh, but I did used to play one with my cousins and my older brother when we were kids, and I was always Ultimate Warrior. So uh, if you don't know who that is, uh, this would be my theme song. Welcome, first year HK students. Uh, my name is Matthew Krause. I'm one of your professors. Uh, I've been here for about five years now. The, the interesting question that I'll give you an answer to is regarding my first car. <clears throat> it was named the Fox. This wasn't a particularly crafty name. It was a Volkswagen Fox. Uh, it's no longer in production, uh, probably for a good reason. My particular fox uh, had an issue towards the end of its life where uh, if I hit a, hit a, say, a pothole a little bit and jarred the car, one of the headlights would, would pop out and, and dangle by its wire. Um, but usually uh, my solution at the time, uh, I often had my hockey gear in the trunk of the car, so I, if I realized the light had popped out, I would pull over, uh, go get my clear uh, sock tape, and and apply a healthy dose of that tape to uh, you know get the light back into place so that was my solution at the time um, but yeah it's uh, the fox has been long gone hi my name is james gravel i'm the head coach of the men's volleyball team this will be my eighth season as head coach i also offer writing support to hk students if i could only eat one food for every meal the rest of my life it would be pizza I'm looking forward to meeting you all and hope you have a great school year. Hey everyone, I'm Nadia Azar and I've been a professor in the Department of Kinesiology for about 13 years now. I teach courses in biomechanics and neurophysiology, but you won't see me until you're in third or fourth year. A fun fact about me is that I love fantasy novels. Anything to do with magic, vampires, or time travel, especially if it involves historical fiction. So naturally, I loved Harry Potter, Twilight, and the Outlander series. But one of my favorite book series is the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. She manages to weave all of that together, magic, vampires, time travel, and historical fiction. So if you're into those kind of stories too, I highly recommend you check it out. Hello, and welcome to the Department of Kinesiology in the Faculty of Human Kinetics. My name is Scott Martin, and I have the great privilege of being a professor of Olympic and sport history, with a special focus on the emergence of Olympic commercialism. I joined the faculty a little over 20 years ago. I'm also the Vice Chair of the University of Windsor's Research Ethics Board. We have each been asked to respond to an interesting question. In my case, what does your favorite shirt look like? Well, it's not so much about the shirt itself. It's about where you wear the shirt. Well, this is the shirt. And this, this is where you wear the shirt. This year will be unique for everyone, students, faculty, and staff alike. But I wanted to take this special occasion to wish each and every one of you a very successful academic year. Remember, we are here for you. Welcome to the HK family. Hi, my name is Laura Pepper. I work in administration in the HK building. I've been here in this role for about a year and a half. I'm the first person that you're going to see when you walk into the offices. The question I'm going to answer today is, have I ever met my idol? Well, I was very lucky to go all the way to Cortez Island in northern British Columbia to meet my idol. Actually, I got to spend a whole week in a master's artist seminar with famous Canadian artist Robert Bateman. I got to meet artists from all around the world, uh, and it was an amazing experience. I hope you enjoy your first weeks in HK, and if you have any questions, you can reach me at hk at uwindsor.ca. Best of luck. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to kinesiology. 
sorry that we couldn't be there to see you in person, face to face for orientation this year. It's always such a, an exciting time for everyone, but hopefully you will enjoy these uh, introductions too. My name is David Andrews and I'm a professor in the Department of Kinesiology. I've been here for a little over 20 years now. Uh, so I'll be starting in my 21st uh, uh, year of teaching here at the University of Windsor starting in, uh, in the fall. Um, so we were asked to give you an answer to a specific question. And uh, normally in orientation, we, we uh, give you a little fun fact about ourselves, but uh, this year we're asked to answer a question. And the question that I would like to answer is, what is my, my worst uh, job ever? Well, my worst job uh, ever happened to turn out to be one of the best jobs that I ever had. Not the best job. The best job ever is the job I have right now. Uh, but I would say the second best job. So the worst job ever turned into the second best job. What was the job? Well, I, I desperately wanted to get into Algonquin Park to work in some capacity. And I was finding it a real challenge. This was early on in my university uh, career. I did get a job though uh, as a permit office employee at uh, one, of the, one of the big lakes in the park. There was a small campground there. So I decided, even though I wanted to be an outfitter, I wanted to be someone who helped um, uh, put trips together for people and to, to show them how to paddle and uh, what the canoe routes were like in the park. I decided that I would, I would take this entry level position in the permit office and try to work my way up. And I'm really glad that I did. Um, however, give you a little backstory about what was required. One of the one of the duties that I had to that I was assigned as the permit office was employee was to take care of the little campground that uh, was beside the permit office. And it was only about 12 uh, campsites. So it wasn't very big. It was a pretty intimate little space too. So uh, that part of it was was quite okay. Um, where it became problematic for me anyway was that um, during the busy uh, fishing time, so in the spring in particular, the fisher folk arrived uh, in droves and uh, because there was lots of lake trout in the, in the lake at that time and so they wanted to troll for lake trout. So they would go out early in the morning, um, they, would, they would troll all day and then we'd come back uh, ready to party uh, in the in the evening, so they ate their fish, uh, they drank substantial amounts, and that translated into uh, yeah you got it uh, very very messy uh, outhouses around the uh, campground, which mm -hmm, you got it my job to clean. So, uh, yeah, I used to just dread having to go out and clean the, uh, I had to do them several times a day, but I had to go out and clean the bathrooms the morning after the celebrations from the night before. Uh, the, the entire time I just, I dreaded it. I, I, and I kept telling myself, I, I, I got to stay in school. I, I got to get, I got to get as much education as I can get. So I never have to do a job like this, uh, ever again. Um, so that was on my mind for many years as I, uh, as I made, way, made my way through the park and, and a number of, uh, positions, um, and kept me kept me going forward in my education to, to where I am today. So I'm very, very thankful that I went through it. And I, and I would say as a piece of advice is I learned then that there is value in absolutely everything you do, regardless of whether you see it at the time or not, there is value in everything. So as you make your way through the program uh, and on through the rest of your life, keep that in mind, folks. There is value in absolutely everything, even if you're struggling with it or you don't see the point at the time, uh, it will matter at some point in your life. All right, so that's my worst job ever. Um, I hope you have a, a great fall, everyone. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you in person uh, very, very soon. Take care. Hey there, HK students. Uh, Deanna Iwanaka here, head coach of the women's hockey team. Uh, I've been in Windsor since uh, 2018, so headed into my third season with the team. 
And a little bit about myself, one of my favorite places in the world is Jasper, Alberta. Uh, what I love about it there is the camping, the mountain biking, the hiking, uh, paddle boarding, cross-country skiing, pretty much anything to do with the uh, outdoors, the lakes, the mountains, um, and just keeping busy and active. Hope you all have a great year, uh, and hopefully we get a chance to uh, meet each other throughout the semester. Hi everybody, my name is Sean Horton, and I teach in the area of lifespan development, and I started at the university in, in 2008. With respect to the best piece of advice that I've ever received, it actually would probably go back to some advice I got when I was about your age. I was working at a golf course as a, a summer job while I was in university. And it came from a business executive and he took me out for lunch one day and we were talking about his career and he was fairly successful in the area of business. And he said one of his key, the key components to his success was always surrounding himself with really smart people. And the piece of advice was that he never wanted to be the smartest person in the room. And I thought that was pretty great advice. And so that's advice that I've tried to follow. And it's actually uh, been fairly easy advice for me to follow, uh, especially in a department like we have here at the University of Windsor. So um, best of luck as you undertake your degree with us. And uh, I hope to see you in my second year course called Human Growth and Development. Hi, I'm Dr. Vicki Parashak. I've been a member of HK faculty since 1984. And my favorite place from all the places I've traveled is um, a dead stump area on Outdoor Rec. And that's where I'm gonna be uh, right now when you're watching this video. Take care, have a great year, bye. Hi, I'm Dave Stout. I'm one of the athletic therapists in athletics and recreational services. A lot more when I was younger, I was told I looked a lot like Wayne Gretzky. Sheila Dodlin, I'm the admin assistant to the Dean of Human Kinetics, Dr. Jess Dixon. Hi, I'm Sharon Horn. I'm an administrative assistant to the department head, as well as the graduate secretary to Dr. Sharon McGowan. My fun fact is my favorite number is three. I was born on the third day of the third month in 1960. Three. Uh, I'm the third child, third grandchild. I weighed six pounds, three ounces, and it's been my lucky number ever since. Fun fact about me is my dream job was to be a mortician. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to HK. <laughs> Welcome incoming students. My name is Craig Greenham and I am a professor in the areas of sport management and leadership and I have been at the University of Windsor since 2014. Now the question I would like to answer is you could have an unlimited supply of one thing for the rest of your life. What is it? Well my answer is good luck. You can never have too much good luck. Hi Lancer family, my name is Amanda Rucolo and I'm the Recreation and Facilities Coordinator over in the Athletics Department. I started back in this position in 2017. To answer an interesting question about myself, what is your favorite place of all the places you've traveled to? I have had the opportunity to travel to many places around the world and I would have to say that my favorite place I've ever traveled to is the Amalfi Coast in Italy. The reason why the Amalfi Coast is my favorite place is because of the beautiful scenic views, the delicious food, clear waters, and rich history. I hope to visit and be back soon. Hello everyone and welcome to the Department of Kinesiology at the University of Windsor. My name is Dr. Francesco Biondi and I teach and do research in human factors and cognitive ergonomics and I've been at this position at the University of Windsor for two years. Uh, my favorite TV shows are Curb Your Enthusiasm and The Office. I wish you all a great beginning of the fall semester and looking forward to seeing you in person. I also encourage you to be Windsor proud. Hi everyone, welcome to University of Windsor Kinesiology. I'm Dr. Patty Miller, I'm a professor in the Sport Management Program. Um, I teach the second year organizational behavior course and some upper year courses in uh, sport and government, sport communication, uh, nonprofit management of sport, and look forward to seeing many of you uh, hopefully in those classes in the years to come. Um, my worst style choice was probably the mushroom cut haircut that I uh, rocked for 
um, about eight years as a kid. So not so much the mushroom cut, I thought that was a pretty good look. Just the length of time was probably the wrong style choice. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I've grown my hair out over the years uh, and will not be going back to that mushroom cut. But I wish you all the best in your first year and look forward to meeting you in person sometime soon. Take care. Hi, I'm Jean-Paul Cercelli and I'm the head football coach here at the University of Windsor. I also teach the PTA football class here in human kinetics. I've been at this position for just over a year now. My favorite TV show of all time is Seinfeld. Giddy up. Hi everyone, my name is Krista Chandler and I have been with the Department of Kinesiology since 1999 teaching sport and exercise psychology. The question that I chose to answer today is what fictional family would you be a part of and why? I thought a lot about this question over the last few days um, and it was difficult to come up with just one answer. The first family that came to mind were the Gellers. With my competitive spirit I thought I'd be a great addition to Monica and Ross. But then I kept coming back to the Swiss family Robinson. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in a tree house? But my answer had to be the Griswolds. We all have that cousin, Eddie, and I'm married to a Clark. Hi, I'm Lucas. I've worked at the University of Windsor coming up on my 10th year. I work in athletics as the head coach of the women's volleyball team. You won't see me till fourth year when you take a PTA volleyball. And something you wouldn't know about me is I have an unhealthy obsession with M&M peanuts. And this hair will be gone. Hi everyone, welcome to the HK family. My name is Dr. Sarah Sharon Benson. I'm a professor on the movement science side of things. I started here at the University of Windsor in July 2017. Um, and a fun fact about me, my favorite Disney character is Ariel. I'll admit that my early childhood bedroom was decked out in Little Mermaid apparel, and I actually wore a Little Mermaid nightgown to school in kindergarten for a week. Welcome! Good morning and welcome to the Faculty of Human Kinetics. My name is Adriana Duquette. I'm the Kinesiology Lab Coordinator here in the Department of Kinesiology. I have worked in this department since 2005, but I've been in my current position since 2009. And my favorite location that I have ever traveled to is a little beachside town called Tropea, and it is in southern Italy. I will send the picture in so that you can see what I'm talking about. Hi everyone, my name is Colin Inglis. I'm the head track and field coach here at the University of Windsor. Welcome to the HK family. This is my fourth year back in Windsor. I was here between 1995 and 1999, uh, coaching with the varsity team as well. If some of you take the uh, practice theory analysis of track and field class, I'll have you at some point in your undergraduate studies. Interesting fact about me, I have a pilot's license. Hi, my name's Joanna and I work in the HK office as undergrad secretary. I'm your go-to girl. Hi, I'm Matina Jurisic and I'm your IT technician. Hi, I'm Sandra, Lancer Rec coordinator. If you're looking for fun to make some friends, check out Lancer Rec. Speaking of friends, did anyone ever tell you you look like Jennifer Aniston from the series Friends? As a matter of fact, they have. Has anyone told you, ladies, you look like a celebrity? Well, they say I look like Kathleen Turner from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I think they said Deborah Winger from Black Widow. Welcome to HK. Welcome. Welcome. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Wayne Marino. I actually am a retired faculty member uh, in the Department of Kinesiology. I, I started there in 1977 and retired in the uh, summer of 2018, but I still go to work every day to help with um, liaison activities and recruitment and a little bit of counseling. And uh, I'm gonna teach biomechanics this fall. So I will see you in Kin 1800. Um, we were asked to uh, maybe comment on a favorite place or something that we have uh, visited. Uh, you know, I could talk about a dozen, dozens of different places, uh, probably in, in over 40 different countries, but I think for me, two things come to mind, um, and, and I'll mention both of them. Uh, one was a visit to St. Andrews, Scotland, where I was fortunate enough to be able to play 18 holes of golf on uh, the oldest golf course in the world. That was, that was quite a thrill. The other that comes to mind is um, Beijing, China. And uh, there I was lucky enough to be able to uh, go on a, uh, a short excursion out into the countryside and was able to hike up to the very top of a spectacular part of the Great Wall of China. So those are 
kind of things that uh, that I have enjoyed, and uh, you'll hear a lot more about me in, in some of my lectures as well. So I look forward to seeing you in uh, biomechanics this fall. Hi, Lancers. I am Linda Ruccolo, and I work at the St. Dennis Centre front desk. I look forward to greeting each and every one of you when you visit our facility for a workout, swim, varsity game, instructional class, etc. I have worked at the University of Windsor for 39 years. The last five have been at the St. Dennis Centre. To answer an interesting question about myself, if I had to eat one meal every day for the rest of my life, it would have to be pasta. I enjoy all types of pasta and that is why I participate on my lunch hour on a daily basis in a HIT class at the St. Dennis Center. Hello everybody. Welcome to the Kinesiology family. I'm Brett Lumley. I'm the associate head coach for track and field and also the travel coordinator for all the varsity teams. Hey listen, I've been here for uh, going on 22 years. I just want to make sure that you guys are welcome and feel welcome here. I'm a graduate of human kinetics. I won't tell you how long ago, it's way too long ago. Um, so we were given a list of questions to answer and the one thing that I, one question I'll answer is a piece of advice that I was given and that is to just be yourself. Be true to yourself and you'll go far and you'll achieve what you want to achieve. Good luck this year and in years to come. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sarah G and I'm a professor in the sport management stream in the department. I teach courses related to the social and cultural aspects of sport, usually in the upper year uh, level of the sport management program. Uh, of all of the TV shows I've been able to binge watch during this COVID uh, period, one of my favorite shows has been Schitt's Creek. I encourage you to give it a watch if you haven't and have a few laughs along the way. I look forward to meeting some of you uh, in the near future and I wish you all the best of luck in the beginning of your academic journey here at University of Windsor. Hi, my name is Chad Sutherland and I'm the Director of Operations for the Center for Human Performance and Health in our Faculty of Human Kinetics. I started at the university in 2004, so I've been here for the last 16 years. Uh, my question was, what is the most used emoji? For me, it's definitely the thumbs up. Hope you guys all have a great year. Good luck. Hello, everybody. My name's Emily Halley, and I was a sessional instructor for the last five years, primarily teaching the upper year lab courses. Now this semester marks my first year as a lecturer, also teaching the lab courses. Now my fun fact about myself is my best scar story, and I'll show you in a second, but I used to run for the University of Windsor, and I did so during my undergrad and master's degrees, as you can see here, uh, but I ended up making Team Canada for tackle football shortly thereafter, and unfortunately during a practice, I was a running back, I planted my foot in one direction to make a cut, and then I was tackled in the opposite direction, which resulted in a spiral compound fracture of my tibia. And fib and so I should probably show you my scar right um, so it's pretty gnarly and then I have a couple screws you can actually see there so sorry if that bothered anybody um, but that is my best scar story and hopefully I'll see you soon in person but in the meantime virtually I hope everyone has a great semester. Welcome everybody my name is Anthony Bain I'm one of the resident physiologists here in the faculty of human kinetics in the PACER lab uh, I've been here for two years, going into my third year now, and one interesting thing about me is that my wife says I was a dog in my previous life. Get ready! Hi, my name is Mona Sleeman. I've been working at the University of Windsor for over 20 years. I've been in my current role as team leader, marketing and sponsorship, in Lancer Athletics for the past five years. If I had my own talk show, my very first guest would be John Bon Jovi. You may ask why? Spanning over four decades, wanted dead or alive, I'll be there for you. You give love a bad name. Need I say more? It's a given. He should be on everyone's list. Hello, all HK undergraduate and graduate students, and welcome to the University of Windsor. Thank you for choosing Windsor to further your education. My name is Chris Chang, and I'm the men's basketball head coach, and I'm going to my second season. The best advice that I was given was to have big ears and a small mouth. We not only listen to respond, we should also listen to understand. Hopefully that advice helps you during your years here. Go Lancers. Hi everyone, I'm Todd Lougheed and I'm a professor of sport, exercise and performance psychology. I've been at the university now for 15 years and I wanna welcome you 
to the Department of Kinesiology and to the HK family. Now we were given a list of 30 questions to answer about ourselves and asked to pick one of, one of them. So the question that I picked, and there's so many great questions, was what sport would you compete at if you were at the Olympics? And I would say, I would, you know, being a, a multi-sport athlete myself, I would like to say I would compete in four sports. It would be hockey as a centerman, soccer as an attacking midfielder, tennis, and golf. Those would be the four sports I would love to compete at the Olympics, obviously for, for Canada. Enjoy your first year and hope to see you in my class down the road. Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Milne. Uh, I'm currently the Associate Dean of Academic Programs. Uh, I'm also an Associate Professor uh, teaching in the area of Exercise Physiology. I've been doing this for about a year and a half, teaching for about 10, 11 years now. Um, Anyways, if there was a song that I had to sing karaoke to, what would it be? Um, that's an easy answer. Uh, the song is uh, The Symphony by Marley Marl, featured such legendary rappers as uh, Cool G Rap, Master Ace, Craig G, and Big Daddy Kane. Uh, the song takes, you know, uh, quite a few minutes to, to go through, uh, and I used to use it killing time waiting for a bus or anytime there's something happening that I need to uh, time out uh, five or six minutes, uh, I can play it off in the back of my head. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the year. My name is Sherry McGowan and I'm a professor here in kinesiology. I've been here since 2009. My expertise is clinical cardiovascular and exercise physiology. And I'm also the Associate Dean of Research and Graduate Studies. So if you're interested in research, please uh, send me an email at mcgowanc at uwindsor.ca. Um, my absolute dream job, you're looking at it. Uh, I feel so lucky. Uh, this is my dream job and uh, I look forward to meeting you. Have a wonderful day. And again, welcome to HK. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Woodruff and I'm an associate professor in the acting department, uh, department head in kinesiology. Um, I've been around since 2009 and my first car um, happened to be a 1973 orange brown Monte Carlo. The car was older than me and it was massive and it even had the fins going down the sides of the car. My name is Jess Dixon and I am the Acting Dean of the Faculty of Human Kinetics. Although I've only been in this role for a month now, this is my 15th year as a faculty member at the University of Windsor. Some people say that I look like Edward Norton. <laughs>